Hello and welcome to the um, ninth uh, tutorial in this PDO uh, video tutorial series. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about the um, exec uh, method uh, under the PDO class library. Okay. Now we've been through the query and then execute and prepare uh, um, etc etc but now we're going to use the exec uh, method. This um, has a few quick uses um, which I'm going to explain as we go through. Okay, so um, oops, let's just come down here. I'm going to have to rewrite this again very quickly just so we, we have it equals. That's good practice anyway for you to see. So we start off with the fast first argument being the, the driver which is MySQL in this case and then we can follow by uh, DB name equals then DB name followed by semicolon and then the host equals then uh, the host variable and then uh, user and then password. Okay, as we had before. Um, okay, so now we have our um, our object from um, a PDO object. Now, why would we want to use um, exec? All right, and as you can see, exec returns an integer. Okay, and takes um, a string as uh, its argument, right? And that's all it basically does, right? Um, so why would we use this? Well, we would use it for um, a quick, short, sharp statement where we don't really need to extract any data. Okay. Therefore, the likes of a delete uh, call or an insert call uh, and so on. Really, an insert call. I wouldn't say it's the best example because. Um, you'd want to really use um, all of the benefits of a prepare um, PDO statement by binding parameters and so on to make sure that the, the SQL has all been formatted correctly and that um, there's no SQL injection um, basically. So kind of um, the exact, I, I would say is really for, um, it's to tell you how many affected rows um, have been affected. <laughs> okay, let's just do an example. Um, so let's just say um, PDO and then exec and let's say delete from users where uh, user ID equals 4. Okay, and as soon as we do this, so if we just say if this echo then um, it has been completed. It really is as simple as that. So we come to our page and then refresh it. It has been completed. And you see here we had Tony Andrews as the fourth. If we refresh this, it will then say login again. We'll just put password in here. And YouTube, and as you can see, whoops, we've now only got uh, three entries in the database. So let's just add this um, back in. And it was Tony Andrews, whoever he is. Don't know. Not really important. Okay. So as you can see, it's it's basically for just a, a short, sharp um, entry. Now, if we then um, remove this from the if statement and then take um, it the uh, return value as an int and we'll just use the, the int variable which we've created. Okay, and we'll say if int is equal to two, all right, just for the sake of this, where uh, user ID is more than or equal to two, all right? So we're, we're effectively saying, um, uh, okay, let's do three actually. Sorry, three. We just want two um, results to be deleted. That's that's it. So we're, uh, we're we're kind of making this. I think you've got the idea already. So more than equal to three is going to delete this one and can delete this one. All right. And let's just save that. Let's go back over to here and come to here and give it a refresh. It has been completed. Refresh this again. And as you can see, we get two results have been deleted. Now, the important factor here is that we know that 
um, the PDO exec is returning the amount of rows that have been um, affected okay, um, by our SQL uh, statement execution. So yes, um, fine you could do an update statement. I mean if we just do here uh, update users uh, sets name equal to uh, David James Thorne uh, where um, user ID equals 1 okay and we just say this is equal to 1 this time and we do a refresh it has been completed come back to here we see David James Thorne so we know we knew that we're only going to get one uh, one row um, up, uh, affected by it that would be the reason why it would return number one to int okay uh, that's potentially it if you really want to start um, doing other things because this if if we did underneath if we said well PDO prepare but if you look there's no bind there's no bind parameter on PDO okay it, you have to return a PDO statement to start um, adding um, these parameters and values with inside of here therefore if you wanted to do inserting and updating for, uh, for example then you would then use a PDO statement which in theory um, would equal something like this uh, let's uh, prepare and we we'll say insert into um, uh, users let's just say uh, name for example and values equals then name all right let's put capital N just for some distinction and then we can say SMT bind uh, value for example and we we'll say um, oh we have Tony Andrews again and then we can come here and say if SMT executes say echo it has been uh, inserted and let's just get rid of this and come to here come to here uh, it was not defined oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay because we've got stupid sorry my mistake we're using number one but we're not using the question mark stupid there we go so name let's try this again shall we okay it has been inserted come to here and you see Tony Andrews has now been inserted so if you want to use um, like the insert or select you need to know that you can return the results that you want now in this scenario um, we don't need to care about which results have been returned but maybe you do want to know what the last ID ha which has been inserted okay that would be very helpful wouldn't it it has been inserted and we'll say uh, user ID equals let's come here and say um, actually no sorry it's PDO last insert ID okay this now will tell us the last uh, inserted um, primary key as such all right so it's kind of helpful so we come let's just change um, Bob Evans or something so let's change that come to here refresh this and you see user ID equals 7 come to the database and you can see Bob Evans has the user ID of 7 therefore y uh, you can see that the PDO exec wouldn't be um, worthy of doing this um, statement because naturally you're only going to get the number of rows affected by it now that would it, it kind of redundant I in what you want to use so you need to know when you want to use the exec and when you should use prepare and when you should use query as well okay my advice is um, if it's for an insert um, updates or a select then use prepare okay because you're you're making certain that all of the SQL injection has been avoided okay if you just want to do a quick delete then use exec um, and so on now 
that that's basically it. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm going to leave it there because it seemed to be relatively self-explanatory. Um, but if you've got any uh, any issues or anything like that, then just go to the um, the PDO exec page and you can read um, the explanation yourself and so on and go from there. Okay, my name's David Thorne. I hope you've learned something from this. Um, subscribe, uh, like, thumbs up, share, comments, um, give me any feedback. Um, but hopefully you've learned something. Okay, good night.